Hello, Hello everybody. Can you hear us? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we are here together. I'm so excited. Um, it's February 1st. It's Black History Month. It's Heart Month. Mm -hmm. And now it's a special day where you're going to get a sneak peek at some fun stuff that we're working on. Uh, just for disclosure, this is all test data, okay? And you'll be seeing some finalizations in a couple couple weeks, maybe a couple days. You never know. <laughs> wink, wink. Am I doing good? Am I doing good, Lou? So far, no, you're, you're okay. great. No, absolutely. <laughs> But thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out with us. Thank you. And if you came to our stream yesterday, thank you so much for hanging out with me and Infamous. Now you're hanging out with the whole team here at Tiltify. We have Izzy, of course, myself, and we have a new face, Chris. Hello. Hi. And Lou is here, too. But let's start off with introductions. First off, let me say hi to everybody in chat. Blacktastic, Zombie, Chad Fallout Podcast. Thank you so much for coming over. Amber. Hi, kids. Hello, Squatch. <laughs> oh my gosh, so many people. Hello, so we're so many. happy to have you here. Oh my gosh, May and Livy, everyone, thank you so much for coming on in. But if you don't know who I am, I am Ashley, also known as Miss Ash Rocks in the streaming and charity space. I am Tiltify's community manager. You'll probably see me here twice a week on a Twitch stream. You'll see me on my own stream late nights when I'm not working, or maybe I am. You never know. But yes, you'll just see me hanging out, chatting with our wonderful charities and fundraisers here and doing other content on other socials. But let's throw the next introduction to Izzy. Who are you, Hi. Izzy? What do I you am... do for the Tiltify <laughs> team? <laughs> well, if you look at the little blue button right there, it says I do our social media. So if you have ever interacted with our social media or seen a little heart on your social media post from Tiltify, that's me. I'm the one that loves all of you guys but yes i'm izzy i do tiltify social media we are going to be on twitter TikTok, instagram a little bit on facebook a little bit on uh linkedin and just kind of playing around seeing who's there saying hi making friends and that's literally what i love to do i love seeing your stories i love sharing them with our team so keep doing it because oh it makes me so happy <laughs> izzy has a good time she's always sharing a post every few minutes. Oh my gosh, look at what happened here. What? Look at this <laughs> campaign. Look at this. Yeah, she has a very fun time uh, doing that. So continue to share your stories. Continue to tag us. Tag us, tag us, tag us. Everything on every platform. We want to see what you're doing so we can engage with you. Yeah. So we have a special introduction. Chris, <laughs> can you tell us a little bit about your role at Toltify if you want? And maybe share some of your hobbies. Because, you know, it's your first time on the channel. We want to hear it. Is. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris. Um, been with Tiltify for what, almost two years now, three years. Oh my goodness, it's been a while. <laughs> but uh, I, I am uh, part of the support team, and also going to be. Uh, you'll be seeing my face a little bit more as well um, as we uh, go throughout the year. Um, if you have any questions about any uh, anything about any issues, no. and you put a ticket in, I'm probably one of the people who's answering those tickets. So <laughs> uh, you, you'll you'll see my smiling words in your tickets. So, <laughs> uh, but uh, I do stream on Twitch as well. Uh, Mocha Jones 10. I'm, I'm a speed runner, uh, a speed run, uh, Pokemon, Metroid. Which you're going to teach me soon. I'm going to teach you. Once you finish uh, Metroid Bottom, I want to teach you. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, that, that's it about well, we're, me. We're happy it, to it's going to be Chris. fun. It's going to be thank fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I'm so excited. Chris is wonderful. He has a true passion and community, so I'm excited to work with him more. Um, yeah, he's a sweetheart. I love him. He's great. So thank you so much for the intro, Chris. And Lou, he's going to hate this chat. Lou, hello, boss. Hello, hello boss. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much it. I, I get to wrangle these uh, amazing folks for this lovely team. And uh, we, we love bringing things like this to you. We're excited to share all the, the sneak peek we have today for uh, our dashboard, but really the the bell of the ball, if you will, is um, 
our, our reimagining and revitalization of uh, of our team campaigns and kind of some of the functions of our team. And so Chris, <laughs> Chris is also involved in creating a lot of the documentation that you may come across when you hit our wiki that supports the videos that you'll see from Ash in the coming in the coming uh, days and weeks as we share like how we give you the, the the tools to raise funds for causes that that you care about. So really, this is this is the team that takes the amazing stuff that our development team works on. Um, who are amazing and passionate. We're all just in a, in, in a retreat last week and we were able to, to get together and, and celebrate those things. And then we translate it into uh, uh, and share it in, in such a way that I, I couldn't be happier with, with the team who has so much passion for all the, for the amazing things that, um, that we do. And then we get to see all the things you do with, with the stuff that we do. It's so much love. Like we, all, we all just love on each other. So it's good stuff. So uh i don't i mean i'm not driving today i'm just hanging out i'm i'm the grumpy old guy in the background so uh, really <laughs> i want chris yeah. uh and, and and ash to kind of take us through uh the little sneak peek um again to to note you if you haven't noticed it, it will be we'll be revealing this will be going live on uh the 7th so february 7th next tuesday uh, don't worry it's that you know it's it, it, it the transition should should be seamless um, meaning that you shouldn't see any interruption in, in the power that you have to, to raise funds. Um, it'll just be enhanced. And so we, we hope to, to kind of tease it out and, and show it today. And as Ash said at the start, this is just test data. Um, so uh, it's, it's not, we don't have any actual uh, organizations or causes or, or real campaigns, but really it's that you'll see what, what, what the update's gonna be capable of. Um, just a little bit ahead of time. I was too excited. I wanted to share it with y'all. <laughs> you have more power. More power. More power. <laughs> we'll yeah, take it away. Ash, Chris. Yeah, go for it. Hold All on. Right. Hold on. Wait, wait, um, wait, wait. Oh, what are we waiting for? Yeah. Okay. We have an important question. Of course, we are a very chill group. Okay. And I usually ask this at the end, but. Okay. <laughs> No. Right. Did I? Come on. We have to. We have to. We have to. All right. Black olives. Yes or no? Yes. We have to, we have to warm up. Pro, Negative. pro olive. Pro olive. No. Pro olive. Okay. No. That, that's that's all. <laughs> Everyone in chat saying yes is wrong. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tell on myself. I had to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell myself I actually like before the end of the year bought a jar of olives just because I wanted some. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, like, like I, okay, I, I, I had to I have to warm it up, chat. You know me. If you've been here in our streams, I always I have the fun questions all the time. So I am I love black olives. I used to eat them out of the can as a kid. So. Now, did you do the thing as a kid where you put them like on your fingertips yes. and then like you, you did that? You have to. You have, you to. have to. And you um, know what? Yes. My fingers are small enough still to do it. So I, <laughs> I can right. probably still do it. Yeah. And I, I don't I shared this with the team yesterday in a in a and our all team kind of like our weekly meeting, but I, in a former life, I managed uh, an Italian deli where I was a butcher. Yes, I know. You, I, it, it's it's another story for another time, but we would have, just, you don't know how many kinds of different olives there are. So all these old Italian ladies would come into the shop in, uh, in, in Chicago and they would think it like oh, just vats of different olives and the, they were awesome, it was delicious, so. Is a good so, <laughs> so what I'm hearing is that we need to go on an olive tasting tour. I love that. I love that. Let's thing. do it. It's a thing. Yes. <laughs> it is a thing. Yes. Let's do it. Wait, I am so down. When are we doing it? <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we start? Start here? Yes. And... So we, we just yeah. had to start off subtle oh and, and yeah. with the warm questions the warm and fun questions so chris are you ready we're, we're I'm, I'm nervous but i'm excited, I'm excited. at the same time Me my too. hands are sweaty I'm but i'm so excited <laughs> <laughs> like like i'm excited to, for y'all to see this yes <laughs> da, da, da. i feel like there should be like da, da, da. air horns and like sparkles <laughs> 
Although this particular the, page probably looks familiar to everybody. Yeah. Yes. It probably looks intentional. familiar. It's very intentional because you gotta it's start. You gotta start. You gotta start where you gotta start. You know. Yes. Which is our yes. homepage, tiltify.com. <laughs> Uh, I feel I felt like we need the final countdown playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Can we count down to like when you actually hit sign in before you hit like the button? Can we count that down together? I, I feel I feel like we should. So I'm okay. I'm gonna click log in, which gives us a sign in screen where you put your email and password or your single sign on option. Click that. So so should should we count down? Let's count down. I feel like we Let's should count down. Okay, all right. Okay, five. Five. Four. Four. Okay. Three. Let's down to you. Numbers are hard. Five. Okay. Four. Three. Two. One. Go. Go. Just kidding. That's all. Just kidding. Okay. Now, now it's good. I see a one. I see a one. Okay. Go click. All right. This is Mouse. here we go. There we go. Click. Click. There we and go. Perfect. Here we go. <laughs> Look at that. Look how beautiful. Dashboard. Look at how pretty that is. Look how clean. Very flashy. Clean. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so this oh. is where you will land when you get to your your fundraiser dashboard. Um it looks a whole lot different. Um, a, a whole lot of information here. <laughs> uh, as you can see at the very top of your screen, you, you have a summary of what you have done as a fundraiser. Uh, that's the total amount that you have raised. Um, that's the number of campaigns you've done, the average you've done per fundraiser. Uh, yes, uh, Jambo and Lil Siha were not wrong when they were <laughs> exclaiming. <laughs> uh, we, we have video proof of that. <laughs> Oh, I watch that video at least once a day. It is just so amazing. Yes. To be a part of something like this is so exciting and so fun. And we're so excited. You are all excited as well. We I see know. a lot of good feedback already. It's very pretty, very clean. That was and immediately, is, I was like, oh, yeah, I love this. This is just, the first, this. Page. This is just, just the, the first page. Just the first page of it. We're nowhere near done. <laughs> nowhere near yeah. done. Like, I've, only, I've only covered like a 130 second. Not even of it. Wait. <laughs> this is an eight hour stream. This is page. I like that comment. Fabuloso clean. I like that. Ooh. Yeah, we're we're going to quote you on that on socials, right, Izzy? Yes. <laughs> but yeah, so we have what I love the most is once you get into your hub, that's where we are right now at the top right. It says currently we are in our hub. So this is our fundraising hub. We have our summary of the total raise. So we don't have to go far. We don't have to click any more buttons. We see that right in our dashboard. I wonder how much I fundraise. Let me log in. Boom. There it is right there. And how many campaigns you have created and the average you raise per campaign. So all that information is right there on the top. And if you have any messages, they're going to show there right underneath the summary. I want to call you'll... that out because before, like, mm -hmm. if you got a message, whether it was from a charity or from us here at Tiltify, you had to click that little bell that, like, sometimes the notification was a little small, so it's easy to miss. But now here, like, if there's something really cool that a charity wants to tell you or how we just did our survey, thank you to everybody that filled out the survey. We love you. Uh, it's going to be right there. Easy to see, easy to click, and just, you know, we want to make sure that you're not missing on important messages. So right there. Right. We Absolutely. know a lot of folks don't don't get uh, don't read our emails or read any emails. I don't take it personally <laughs> if you don't read the emails I send. But I get it. But here is a place where you can kind of see what we have to say. We'll share newsletters um, if you've qualified for uh, a recognition package or you've hit certain milestones on, on Tiltify, you'll get notified here. So be sure you keep an eye on things here. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm curious because Ashleen just asked, how many knew that there was internal messaging that we had? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's 2023 is the year of communication. We're going to talk yes. more. And also, 2023 is a year that we all use schedule feature, <laughs> right? 
We, yes. We talk about that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to put down, put down your brain. Impulse. The tattoo. Okay. Plant the seed. <laughs> Plant the seed. Yes. <laughs> All right, on with the tour. Um, I did see somebody say dark mode question mark, and Chris and I will go like, oh, okay, yes, yes. <laughs> it's not it's not quite ready yet, but it is on the roadmap. So it's coming soon. So just bear with us um as, as we add dark mode very soon. Thank you. Yes. But we I, have as I see mode. the viewer count now Absolutely. drop in half. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll we'll turn around and tell tell the devs like we told you we need dark mode. So it's coming, though. We know. Yes, yes. So as we are still here on our our hub, our dashboard, uh, we have our latest campaigns that show. You can click view all campaigns, see all the campaigns you have uh, that are unpublished and published. And Teams, Chris, tell us a little bit about Teams just here visually. Okay, so just here, because we'll get deeper in the Teams. Mm -hmm. uh, but these show the, the, the team campaigns for... Um, any team that you're on that are active. Um, and we'll, we'll actually get a little bit deeper later because that's that's like the, the big thing for this update is teams. But um, I'm excited about it. Like, I, I kind of want to do it now, get into it now, but there's so many other things to highlight. There are. <laughs> let's let's show navigation first. I think it'll be the biggest thing it's okay. going to be. It's going to kind of jolt people whenever they, they get in uh, to, to their new dashboard. So a little so, bit of navigation so over navi here would probably Which helpful. navigation? Do you want this one over here to our left? Or do you want this one up here in the upper right corner? Because we don't want people to get lost. If you want to get somewhere, you have several ways to get there. <laughs> lead us. Lead us. Lead us Let's on the Let's go path. through both. Let's start with the left sidebar okay. first. All right. So left sidebar, you have instant Want to talk about campaign. edit profile real quick? Edit profile. You can you can click this and just go straight to your edit profile button, which is actually the next place that we're going to go after this. But uh, that takes us to where you can actually, actually let's go there. It I know there's so to, many things to talk about. Oh, there's so much. <laughs> but this is this is where you edit your public profile. This is where um, whenever. Um, you log into Tiltify, you go to uh, your profile page. This is where you will edit that. Um, right. Your username, that's your username. That's also part of your URL. So if you're if you change that, which is only able to be changed once a month, be sure to reshare your links to any campaigns that you might have active. A very good good call out. Good call out. This is also where you get to tell the world why you love to fundraise. It's a good. This is there's the bio section sharing your why. We all know. I, I see uh, Amanda from St. Jude in chat, and there's probably some other folks from other charities in chat. Like sharing your why is such an important and powerful uh, thing that you can do to really encourage and inspire people uh, to either support you, donate, or join you in fundraising. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. If you want people and... to follow you outside of Tiltify, there's a place where yes. you can add your social links as well. Uh, be sure, I, I, I have to say this, always be sure to follow the directions. Some of these say <laughs> just put your username. Some of these put, like YouTube, say put the channel ID, uh, Discord, and the website say um, just use your um your website so please 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 follow those directions or else your links will break <laughs> <laughs> highly recommend you fill out that info because there could be a charity wanting to reach out to you and you may have a different twitter username instagram username whatever it may be um, different from your tiltify name account so that's how i get in contact with you all too i always go to the tiltify page and search for your socials through that way when they're connected Same. so take advantage Yes. That is how I reach out to a lot of creators when I need to is through the profile social link. So make sure they're accurate. Make sure that you put them in carefully because you never know who you're going to hear from. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or Tiltify wants to give you shout outs on social, but we can't find your Twitter. <laughs> I, I'm, me and Izzy will spend 30 minutes. Have you found it yet? Uh, yep. Let's try this keyword. Let's try this one. <laughs> you know. So yes, we want to reach out to you and engage with you. Make sure you make it easy for us as you can, so we can get get a hold of you. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, Chris said, 
follow directions, username, Jeez. links, channel ID. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. And you're all set. And you'll hit save changes. You can also view your profile here at the top. Uh, quick hyperlink there. And then you'll be able to view your profile there. Uh, profile looks the same as it does right now. Very clean, very pretty. I remember when we came out with the new profile. I, oh, I just love it. The colors and with the white background, it's just perfect to me. So and very the visual. Badges. Just, and the badges. Oh, Speaking oh, of badges. 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 Oh, what are badges? Yeah. A place to view your to view and share your view your and official... share your achievements. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Speaking of achievements, yes. yeah. okay, so we have our lifetime fundraising, okay, we have 7.5k, 10k, 25, onward to 1 mil, and some of you may have already received a physical pin as well, representing each of those lifetime fundraisings that you've done so far with Tiltify, and I think it's really nice that we added these because it gives you something to work towards. Like, oh my gosh, I'm 2K away from 10K this year. I'm hitting it. I want that pin. I want to put it on the wall so I can flash it to my community. <laughs> so you can show this is what we did together. Okay. And Tiltify uh, recognized that. So that goes back to our Tiltify recognition program. So Lou, if more you wanted to go more in depth about that, that'd be wonderful. Uh, and more to come this year. So to definitely keep an eye on on, on new badges added uh, uh, to this list of, of things you can share. Most of them are probably going to be digital at this point. But uh, if you have hit at least seven and seven point five k lifetime fundraising, keep an eye on your messages because you probably got <laughs> one from us about how you claim your swag if you haven't done so already. So please log in, check it out, um, claim that swag. We want to send it to you. And want you and, to show it off too. And as Lou said, keep your eyes out because we have plans for more badges coming out. Don't have an ETA, but they're going to be really cool. So keep an eye it's, out. This is the year, the year of lots of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this is just the start. And this, yeah, this is just the start. <laughs> so uh, let, let's move on. Uh, we've done our profile. Now let's uh, dive into. Um, Hello, mouse. Um, our, our personal profile, this is the, the hidden side of your profile that you don't want the world to see, but can be helpful um, if you're um, registering for events or such, uh, or such. So you can add, you can have your name, your email, change your password. Also, it would be sad, but you can delete your account from here as well. <laughs> yeah. uh, um, like I said, if you want to expedite like your registrations for uh, events that might be happening, um, you can add your address right here. So add your address, um, and then when you register for an event, hey, click that address whenever you register for it, and you're done. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, uh, and when you do move make sure you keep that updated okay the moment you move to a new address keep it updated all right you want to make yes. sure your swag goes to the right place <laughs> yes I, I i had to remember to do that last year <laughs> <laughs> just bought a house forgot to update everything that's probably going to be me oh wait yeah, yeah. new address <laughs> new place <laughs> if you happen to move in the middle of an event uh, segue. You can go and just go to registrations, click on the event, and just edit your stuff here. So Boy, Helmut's going to be so mad that we just showed off their <laughs> their totally not real account. <laughs> <laughs> Hilma Chris. Yes. Just, uh, so, someone, someone they're not even old enough to be on the right platform. Now. October. <laughs> they're not even one year old. <laughs> And this person likes pineapple on pizza, too. Oh, my gosh. No. Not That's me. why they're my friend. <laughs> <laughs> but, yes, you can quickly just, you can see what registration informa information you have. Click on it. Edit it if you need to. Save changes. All that stuff. So, yeah. Quickly edit that. If you have registrations that aren't completed, you can go here. 
Uh, same thing, click, fill it out, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> Quick and easy. <laughs> donations, these are your donations. This is where your the donations that you have uh, made live. Um, so if you wanted to keep track of the donations that you have done, um, that's where you'll find it. If you made a donation and you weren't logged in, you can claim that donation right here by putting your email address in that was used to make the donation and claim that donation. Uh, give you a, they'll send you an email to uh, be able to claim that, and you're done. <laughs> yes, it was. I did that last year. Actually, I had three different emails I had to claim <laughs> donations from. <laughs> so but take advantage also, of it. This is all really cool. So. Um, if you're not a fundraiser, but you like to donate to a lot of campaigns, you yourself can have a Teltify account and see everything in your own little hub. And you can say, oh, wow, last year I donated X amount of dollars to these different charities. And, you know, that's really cool information to have as well. Even if you're not a fundraiser, this dashboard is also for you. Yes. In which the donor dashboard looks similar to this, but just tailored towards those who just donate. Now, if you want to upgrade, uh, if you want to change and be a fundraiser, you can do that. But if you want to just say a donor, that's fine too. <laughs> and then uh, we have monthly donations. You can do monthly contributions to a cause. And all of that will be in that data there. So... <laughs> I have not done that personally, but I, I plan to do that this year. I would love to do that. Yes. And just have it um, automatically go through. You're like, yep, did my contribution for the month. And you just feel good about it. Yeah. So you can go back and <laughs> see what you've done. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm going to say on donations and because no, we, we need to have you know, some kind of way to, to make donations. If you want to just skip all the entering you can just save a credit card or save your bank account right here under uh, payment methods. So you can just, if you have that in, hey, I'm donating. I don't have to top myself in. Click, done. <laughs> <laughs> Quick and easy. That's, yes. If you didn't know, that's kind of what we want to target easy and fast <laughs> and fun. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. And then if, and... You, if you have any uh, single, sign, so Twitch, yeah. Google, uh, Twitter, if you want to use any of these to sign in, um, which I believe it's just the top row, uh, the bottom row is for um, if you want to connect your fitness account, that is um, part of the fitness, which we will also discuss a little bit later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Um, you can use any of these options to be able to, to sign in to your account as long as it is connected. If these are single sign in and then the connected applications, your applications, all of that. Easily mm -hmm. laid out. Easily yeah. you, laid out. Yeah. If you want, if you love messing with API, uh, that's where you will live. <laughs> <laughs> hint, hint, wink, wink. Okay. <laughs> And then messaging center is the, the full messaging center that we had the example of on the home page. <laughs> That's right. All right. Oh, so can't gonna... you like then... change things in the settings? Oh yeah, yes. you can. Like how often you want to get an email, who you want to contact you, you can opt out. So yeah, we, we hope that you want to get messages from us. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you can set it to never, daily, weekly, and monthly. Mm -hmm. Just receive those emails from us. Yes. And this is very important because, to be honest, I learned this last week that we have payment methods. Okay? Yes. Yes. Payment methods. I am one of those people that enter <laughs> it every time I donate. Okay? <laughs> We have payment methods. <laughs> you can add your credit card information or your bank account information. So you don't have to be like me and enter it every time. And I probably still would do it. But we have the feature for you to make it easy. <laughs> yes. We, we, we want easy. We, 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 we want minimal clicks for y'all. We want easy for y'all. That, that's, why, that's why we do what we do. <laughs> 
<laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right, I'm getting excited to see some of the team stuff. So let's 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 move along. The count stuff is all very interesting and all that, yeah. and it looks really great. But let's let us let us move forward. No, no the adventure. I may, I may go ahead and go to teams now because some of the stuff for teams is also the same as campaign. But I, I want to get to teams right now. I feel like. Yeah, I think it's time to time to dive in. Time to dive. Okay. In. So right. Look at how All navigating. Right. So it's important to All note, right. like, so on the, the the top right drop down, we'll navigate you to like the the parent sections, if you will, like the big <laughs> sections, and then on the left hand side, we'll kind of navigate to the to the the subsections within that section. So as Chris just clicked on there, we can see like, oh, the drop down is going to pop yeah. us over to to teams, which is going to also talk show our teams and eventually we can kind of drill down the team campaigns as well so so let's go to teams which looks a bit different <laughs> uh, these show the teams that you are currently on that doesn't matter if you are a team member or a team admi or the team administrator team creator it just shows the teams that you uh, are a part of and the camp and the campaigns that those uh, teams have now I because Teams has been has updated so much, I kind of just want to go ahead and just create a team and then create a team campaign. How does that sound? That sounds like yes. a great idea. All right, so, so let's let's make a team. Let's make a team. So we get we click on create new team and we get a prompt saying, "Hey, enter a team name and enter a description. Uh, what should our team name be?" Olive uh, team. Olive Best team. team to ever team. <laughs> best team to ever team <laughs> that, that should be the description best team to ever team okay so you put your, your your team name and your description under that you have a choice to make it either a public team or a private team the the big difference is um if it's public anybody can join it there will be a link on your on your team page saying join this team if it's private, you have to create a URL link um, that will you will share with your your teammates that they will then have to create a profile and join your team. So that's the big difference there. So let's let's go ahead and keep it at public, and then we click create team, and we have created a team, Team Olive. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm cheering for so, the teams, not for the olives. <laughs> <laughs> olive team. So you do, you can, uh, once you have created the team, you do have the ability to change your team name. Uh, you can also add an avatar, add a picture for your team to represent your team. To, uh, if, I had a, if I had a picture of an olive, I'll just go ahead and add it in right now. <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> and... Um, you can edit that description as well. On here, you can also add the social media links for your team. Uh, just like for your individual uh, profile pages, you can add your uh, social links here. We ask that you do so we can, so uh, your supporters, people can be able to find you, um, our Tiltify staff can find you. <laughs> <laughs> And, and not find you to yell at you. Find you to keep you love. <laughs> right. Find you to lift you up. <laughs> Absolutely. So we have all of team created now. We're going to go into uh, our team's dashboard again so we can see how that looks. Uh, just looking at what we're an administrator of, team member of, everything. So click your teams yeah. for me, Chris. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so team member team administrator of QA1 team. So it gives you those roles, okay? We're gonna get more into roles right now once we create our campaign for our Olive team yeah. or whichever one. Yeah, let's do it. We'll, all right, we'll let's create a team. Yeah. So well, let's let's first go to members before we create a campaign. Okay, let's go to members. Cause, Cause on members, this is where you can generate that uh, invite link. So if you mm -hmm. want to create an invite link this can be for a public or private profile definitely for private profile <laughs> but can be <laughs> done for a public profile as well uh, click the generate link and you can share that with your team uh discord email however you want to share that link to your team uh and they can will be able to join that team there uh, if you have any team members 
Uh, you can give them roles. Um, they could either be um, manager or a member. It can also give them an additional role to be able to create team campaigns. Roles. <laughs> we love roles. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that that's exciting. Your your team members can be able to create team team campaigns and manage those campaigns. Um, if you have any pending um, members, um, you can they can be added here. If you have to for whatever reason ban a member, they'll be listed here as well. So let's go ahead and uh, create a campaign. Why don't we? Let's do it. Let's create a campaign. Uh, so we go to campaign on Olive Team. Uh, sadly, there's not any here yet. <laughs> <laughs> so we're first going to create. We're going to, cre to create our first team campaign. Uh, so we, the once we click that, we first choose our cause. Who are we going to fundraise for? Um, let's fundraise for for this postman. <laughs> this postman calls. I gotta love the gotta love the the calls list here. In, in Again, this is in a test environment. A testing environment, so these aren't going to be our charity. <laughs> <laughs> if that if that charity has an event and you want to join it, um, you can join that fundraising event by just clicking on it. Uh, once you have decided if you're going to uh, join that event or not, uh, click next, and you can name that campaign. Uh, so, what, what's all, what's all of Team's uh, campaign name? Uh, Pineapples belong on pizza. Oh my gosh! I guess if we're on Team Olive, we can also have the contrasting, <laughs> differing opinions. And as I'll always say, pineapple belongs on your pizza. It sure does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. So we have our campaign name. Of course, the campaign name will always be in a campaign URL, just like there. And then we have our campaign goal of $100, our campaign description. They belong on your pizza. <laughs> and you want to utilize that description. Hey. I'm just throwing out team side quest is fundraising for X cause and you can support us here. If you want to throw links in there or socials, whatever in that description, you know, just to give a little heads up, like this is what we're doing for this cause and this campaign. So we're going to go there. We're done with the description. You can add an avatar if you want. Okay. You can use your team logo or the cause logo. That'd be nice. And now we have all that info filled in. We're going to click next, uh, so our like, blue button. With your goal, it can always go up, but it can never go down. <laughs> That's right. Can't go down. Right. Nope. Just start out long. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fine. Just one note that right Yes. <laughs> yes. We love stretch goals. I love stretch goals. Love I know you goals. all do. I love it. I love it. So, yeah, start all right. off so we're gonna go and work your way up. Yeah, we're going to go to next for our team campaign. And yes. you can choose a role for your members for your team campaign. So, so just to <laughs> clarify, like, so there are things that people can do at the team level. And then there's things that people can do at the, at the campaign level. So you really have that level of customization of who's going to be involved in doing what for your team and whatever campaigns you have going on at the same time. And I think this is worth noting that Tiltify is unique in, in the fact that teams can exist independent of the campaigns. So you can be, we could be Team Olive and we can have five different campaigns going on as a team underneath us. Uh, and we can be managing all of those, you know, uh, you know, concurrently. So that's, you know, there's a lot of sophistication there. And that's kind of the purpose for allowing folks to do different things on, on any given campaign. Yeah, uh, there are two roles that um, are for the the team campaign roles. Uh, that is coordinator and moderator. Uh, the coordinator will be the one who can will be have editing power. They can uh, change the uh, information about the campaign, change the layout of the campaign uh, layout. I'll get there later. <laughs> yes, that's very exciting. <laughs> um, but. They can manage incentives, and uh, they also have moderator access, which if you're a moderator, uh, 
um, you have the band hammer for comments and and names and stuff. So you can um, uh, you can moderate a donation and say there's an inappropriate comment, ban that comment. It just uh, goes away. The comment goes away. The username goes away. It just becomes anonymous. <laughs> Right. When you're in the process of, of like giving out different roles, to different folks who are helping you manage your campaign, this just makes things easier, right? It, it can, can give different roles to all the different folks on your team. Yes. And so when, right. when you decide the roles for your, uh, for your team, you can create. And you have created Ooh. your team campaign. Now we get into some fun stuff. Chris. This is the cool stuff. Yeah. This yes. is the cool stuff. This is the meat. <laughs> if you don't want to do any of the cool stuff and just want your team campaign to be, you can just go ahead and publish your campaign. But we have a lot of stuff that we want to show you. So we're going to first go to setup. And setup will be where you can further edit well, one of the places <laughs> you can further <laughs> edit your campaign. Uh, this the overview section looks just like it was uh, when we were creating the campaign your name your goal uh, description you can also add a thank you message to your donors um, so if they make a donation directly to the team campaign they can have a customized message saying hey thank you for donating to olive team um, enjoy your olives or something like that I don't know <laughs> <laughs> Uh, your team can also have um, a live stream, a, a media element. Uh, that could be either a live stream, an image, a YouTube video, um, something that represents what your, your team is doing. Um, you can add that here. And as opposed to going, like like in the old, ye olden days, I guess you can say, uh, <laughs> clicking through to, to get to the media that you want to, uh, you can just click on the on the media that you want to add you can add as many as you as you like just make sure that that um the one you add is if you add multiple make sure the the one that you want default is default because that will be what will show on your campaign page <laughs> so let's just add the username I can't type. <laughs> we'll, we'll add to the Tiltify. You can preview it. You'll say that we're live because we are. Hi. Oh. Hi. It's Inception. <laughs> <laughs> if you can add media. Um, so, again, you can add multiple of that. Just make sure that if you do add multiple, the one that you want displayed is current or is default. Hey, hey, uh, Ash, you want to talk about schedules? <laughs> schedules! <laughs> Under underrated feature, chat. Okay, listen. Think about time zones, okay? Just think about time zones. Schedule is very important, all right? And it adjusts to your time zone automatically, okay? Mm -hmm. I just chatted with an Australian fundraiser, actually. They said, that's why I use schedule, because I have a lot of NA, you know, community members that watch my stream, and they're like, Okay, what time are you doing this stream? What time are you doing that stream? And if they don't utilize uh, the Twitch schedule to automatically populate on your profile, they're going to use a Tiltify schedule for, you know, it could be for special fundraising events they have planned or just their whole fundraising schedule that they have. And they're going to add it to their campaign and you can keep up with it. I influence you all to use schedule this year. There you okay, go. very <laughs> underrated. So it's fun. And again, time zones matter. Time zones matter, time okay? Zones. <laughs> they really do. You got some, so, some schedule love from Amanda and Chef Steve in chat. Thank you both very much. I appreciate that. All right. Let's create a schedule as well, okay. Chris. All right. Okay. What, what, so, what, what's this for? Okay. We're going to do a olive pizza cooking stream. Just only olives. <laughs> And then we don't have it. We don't need a description. Um, it's going to begin on Friday at 3 okay. p.m. And I... we're going to end that stream the same day at 5 p.m. 
Okay. That, there you go. Perfect. Save changes. And that will now be added on your campaign. Round of applause. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Schedule is great. Had to get into that one for you. And now we're going to get into fitness. Yeah. Fitness. Ah, my mouse is not one to click today. <laughs> <laughs> fitness uh your your team campaign campaign can be fitness related um you can add the activities that you um want your your team to include in their campaigns um and any kind of goal if you want a distance goal just turn it on if you want a time goal just turn it on say how how far you want to to ride cycle run or how, how how many hours, how many minutes do you want them to uh, to a queue? And then down below here, you can see the activities that your team has done. All your fundraisers fitness activity. Um, so yeah, fitness. Please use <laughs> fitness is fun. I, I I need to make a fitness campaign at some point. That's right. So this link's back yeah, in I don't know if we missed that. But if you saw earlier in the connected the connected accounts, you can connect your Strava uh, account, you can connect your Fitbit, you can connect your Garmin devices, and those will uh, upload and, and and share that data. And it displays some really cool uh, imagery on your you know on your campaign page, whether it's your team campaign campaign page or individual campaign page. Uh, really, uh, there's there's so many opportunities to remind you that. You know, racing funds on Tiltify is just not gaming. It's just not live streaming. Uh, you can you can really utilize it uh, for just about any sort of uh, fundraising that you want to for any of the over 4,000 causes and, and charities that we have on, on Tiltify. So uh, definitely some, some ways to set goals for yourself for thinking outside of the, you know, the norm. 2023 can, can be a year where you just think differently about supporting uh, these, these causes. I love that there's dancing on here. Me too. <laughs> Do we know anybody who dances for for fundraising? Oh, huh. I, I think some someone. I don't know. Um, yeah. hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Little Sia. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> I guess I should add this well. If you if you want to be uh, miles, have it miles, kilometers, kilometers for uh, however you want to judge your distance. We have you. Gotcha. Okay, maybe, you maybe not in parsecs, but oh, <laughs> wow, you're digging uh -oh. deep on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's. I think somebody needs to write in. Like, can you please add, you know, parsecs or what is it, fathoms? What are leagues? fathoms? Yes. Can you? Can you just? <laughs> yes. What other ways can we measure our distance? Like, <laughs> it'll be in the next update. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. Yes. It's as easy as adding a button, right? Right, Dad. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right, Dad. <laughs> right, Milash. <laughs> But be sure whenever you make these changes, you save the changes so that they will stick. <laughs> or else the screen will scream at you at the top of the screen saying, hey, you didn't save changes. That's right. And All then right. information, um, this this can be helpful if you want to, I don't know, do do some kind of API stuff again. Hit, hit, yeah. ring, ring. Um, <laughs> Um, and also there's something that that does happen um and we've gotten some feedback on it is like this is uh you may have accidentally made a team campaign or you created a team campaign and for whatever reason no one wanted to to join your team campaign or you just did it by accident you can convert it to an individual campaign which uh does kind of like bring it down to a scope for just like a person who's fundraising versus you gathering your community to fundraise alongside you so it's another good option so you don't have to worry about you can this is something typically that you would have had to reach out to support to to manage you can do it yourself now yeah you have to make sure that um i believe the campaign cannot have raised any money in order to convert it into a team or from a team campaign to an individual campaign so if you if you made team campaign by mistake before you've raised any money 
convert it. It'll give you a prompt saying, hey, you can't change this back to a team campaign. If you're good with that, do it. <laughs> All right. Absolutely. I'm, and that's I'm really excited for you. I'm really excited so, for the next part. I'm I'm just yes. gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Me this all too. is very informative and nice, but this is like some of the really cool stuff is, is coming oh. up next. So. Dev is right, trying to say you can you can uh convert if you have race, but only by the campaign's creator. Thank you, Dev. Thank you, Dev. Thank you. <laughs> branding, Chris, branding. Right. This branding. Is fun. Go. Okay, wait, that kind of looks different. What? Oh. This doesn't look like how it usually just, looks. Just a little bit. Just a <laughs> tiny bit. Absolutely. So you, so you have two options here. You can go with the media type. That's what you know you usually see whenever um you create a campaign. Uh, but for your team campaigns, you have just an incentive uh base. So um what we'll show here if we had incentives done, um, your incentives would be at the top, they'll be highlighted. And um, your fundraisers, hey, look, there, there we are on the side here. <laughs> Everyone wave and, and say hi. Inception. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> um, your, your donors can go ahead and just, hey, go ahead and donate to one of these um, uh, rewards, either your polls, your uh, targets, your... Uh, rewards wait so are you saying that on a team campaign you can have campaign-wide polls and rewards yep <gasps> what, is, and what does that when, look when like we, when we get over there you can actually share those with your team members as well and make them available uh... can, can we do that why we were very excited for teams we can i know we can <laughs> Uh, I want to highlight a couple of things here. I know people might have a team campaign that they want people just to donate to the, the supporting campaigns. Boom. No donate button. They can just go to the team campaign that they want to support. <laughs> right. So this is like very similar to like a, a almost a fundraising event that you would see uh, any one of our charities uh, creating. And so this is really like a hub for all the folks on your team who are creating supporting uh, supporting campaigns for for this event uh or in this case it's team campaign yeah Very and cool. likewise you can if you have a toolkit for your team you can add the url for it there and your team has a toolkit access <laughs> and always be sure to save changes or else it won't save that's it right. look like that it'll yes. look like this if you try oh never mind that's that's it <laughs> But again, add your social links and overlays if you have any. You can create them here. Right. So I think one of the things we often hear is like, um, how do I share the overlay for my team? Well, you can create one and customize it. Uh, and then this uh, this overlay will be available to, uh, to your team members. Um, mm -hmm. Team members who are on your team can have access to this. So uh, it will then, you know, if you have that, uni <coughs> excuse me, that, that <laughs> universal or that team goal, um, this is where that that information would live, and you can uh, you can customize it as you see fit for the branding for your team for your team campaign. Yes. All right. Now that we've done that, incentives. Yes. One of my favorite things on the planet. <laughs> okay, so you, you can add incentives to your campaign just like you can with your individual campaigns. Oh, uh, you have your milestones, your rewards, your polls, your targets. Uh, milestones are just going to be your standard milestones. You can put them in um, if you activate it, because you know you have to activate your your incentives, or else they will not be on your page. But when you activate a milestone, it will raise your goal if it is above what your goal currently is. So please be sure that you are ready to activate it whenever it's ready to be activated. <laughs> Because you don't want to set like a fifteen thousand uh, dollar milestone when your current goal is like five hundred bucks. I mean, you might want to. That's up to you. <laughs> I know some communities that would rally around that. <laughs> so go ahead and put a uh, put a milestone at okay. one hundred dollars there. Okay. Just so we just have one on the list. 
So let let's easy easy. What what what's our milestone for for this? A hundred and thirty two dollars. For right, what, what do we oh, what, what do we what, do when yeah. we hit that mile? Oh, what what do we do? Uh we're <laughs> going to put both olives and pineapples on a pizza. Oh, oh no, olives and pineapples. Mm, yum. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Is it 132? At 132. Yeah. Let's make it 100 because then if we activate it, it'll, go, it'll increase our goal. Oh, that's, that's right. right. Actually, let's do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we're going to at least demonstrate the. Yeah. Fucking type. Do you have a key? Two of the zero are very close to each other. <laughs> <laughs> so we save it. And if we go back to our milestones, it's not activated yet. So if you want to activate it, if you want to be active on your on your campaign page, then activate it. Or else it's not going to be activated. So if we do activate it, what happens, Chris? We're going to have a friendly message. It, if you do activate it, it will raise your goal and give you a message. Say, hey, if you do this, it's going to raise your goal. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> yes, confirm so, activation. I believe uh, in this milestone. We believe. <laughs> so we we have added a milestone, and you can, if you want to, edit that, edit or delete it. Uh, this option is available for just just about every instance of here. Why is my mouse not wanting to, to single click? Okay. <laughs> I have a so I have a question for Izzy for our next. Uh, which one of our features is the most powerful? fundraising tool that we may have that that folks can use to raise like two to three times more money than the average Delta 5 fundraiser. Pick me, pick me, pick me. Is he? It's polls. It's polls. <laughs> Please, everybody use polls because they are the most amazing thing on the planet. Awesome. Polls. Chris, let's add a poll. All right. Uh, no, you can add up to five options on a poll or you can just do like just two if you want right. to. So we're going to create a poll. What is the okay. worst pizza topping? <laughs> All right. What is the worst pizza topping? Very good. And I think we know the answer here. Yeah. <laughs> Pineapple or olives, right? Or anchovies. Hey. Oof. No, no, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm going to throw a curve. Oh. Oh. Blue cheese. I like blue, blue cheese. cheese on pizza. Oh, really? <laughs> ha! <Interesting. laughs> I know. <laughs> you saw me eat blue cheese on my pizza. <laughs> I know. Oh, that's right. Oh, my gosh. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but under, underwear, says, <laughs> underwear says add a pull option. Uh, there's, a, there's a toggle button there. That says you can allow others to use this poll. If you have, um, if you have team members on your team supporting campaigns, they can use this poll option. They can use this poll if you activate this button. It can do that with the rewards and targets as well. So if you want to share some of these with your team, allow them to use it. So say your team has a hundred. Or, oh, yeah, 100 members, and 75 of you are fundraising for a cause. Well, you know what? Let's get the whole community to decide what the worst pizza to topping is. Not just <laughs> not just Miss Ash's stream, not just Lou's stream, all of our streams, all of our campaigns. Let people decide what is the worst pizza to topping across the board. <laughs> And to it. clarify, so this could be on all 75 or 100 supporting campaigns and everybody's voting with their with their, their with their donations on all those different campaigns and it kind of flows up to the top uh, to the team campaign. So it's it's really it's activating communities across, you know, across, uh, you know, your 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 team that that is really voting on this 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 clearly important poll for this one. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, so and, like and maybe blue. maybe in Lou's like, campaign people are voting blue cheese as the worst, but maybe on my campaign people are voting pineapples as the worst. But guess what? Across the board, across our hundred campaigns, people think that olives are the worst <laughs> because they are. <laughs> and 
so that's going to be the poll answer on your team campaign, even though your individual campaigns may have different answers. That's right. Yes. Well, if, if you save that and then we want to, of course, do what, Miss Ash, whenever we save, uh, whenever we we save a, a, a poll, what do we have to do? Activate it! <laughs> <laughs> and okay briefly briefly okay if you are setting up your campaign you're getting prepared weeks ahead of time all right think about everything you want for your campaign add in all the different polls you think of okay add them in right now the ones you're not ready for make sure they're deactivated. The ones you are going to be ready for you can just click a button now you don't have to wait until you come up with that idea then create it <laughs> nope everything you come up with <laughs> just add it into your campaign if you use it cool if you don't it's fine just make your uh process easier okay we work smarter not harder so that's right. that's, that's yes. why i love deactivate and activate that's why lou called me out i love it <laughs> make it easy on yourself okay i will have about 20 different polls okay okay which ones do i want to use for the week Okay, let's activate that one, activate that one, deactivate this one. So yeah, take advantage of it. <laughs> Just a button. I, I, feel like, I feel like we need to activate it, emote. We do. <laughs> we we do. do. Oh, there we go. We with need us, new with the button too. That'll be the yes. emote. The slider button. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Can we also have a add your donation link to your social media post? That's something separate. That's another. Oh. Another yeah, I, I have some thoughts on that. We can talk about that next stream. <laughs> we can unpack that later. That's another issue. That's another stream. But, uh... Okay, Chris, can you show us now? Because we talked, we teased it. Like we can have an incentive template. Now that we have a couple of incentives, can we see what that might look like on our campaign page? Um, well, let's go back to branding here then. Yes. yes. <gasps> oh. We have our mama stone here, just like on our mama stone bar. Oh, just very like nice. It. And now we have a pole at the bottom. Oh. Kind of in the middle, really, but. <laughs> yeah, nobody's voted yet, but that, yeah. that's voted the yet. idea. So, um, Chris, um, can we change the color of our branding? Can we change the color? I'm glad you yeah. asked. Yes, we can. Um, if you want to. Uh, you you have our, our beautiful slider here that you can just click and drag around. Or if you know, if, you, if you're proficient with hex code, you put a hex code in here. Or if you want to, you could use the RGB scale or uh, like, or if I can't hue, I forgot what, I forgot what HSL, hue, saturation, and lighting, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, real quick, can we get everyone in chat to say thank you, Dev? <laughs> yes, let's thank get some Dev. Dev love. Let's get Devs. some Dev love chat. <laughs> Absolutely. And probably correct me so what H H S L. Oh. I think it's hue, saturation, and lighting. <laughs> but don't don't quote me on that. Luminosity. Luminosity. Thank you, Quiet Geek. Ah, thank you. Luminosity. Thank you. <laughs> I was just going to Google it. Google. <laughs> hey, lum lum luminosity is also just a fancy way to say lighting, so. Right? <laughs> it is. <laughs> so wonderful. We, we changed our color and it updates mm -hmm. for us. And, you know, again, uh, hex code, the slider, whatever you want to make it all pretty. Oh, I like the orange. Oh, scroll down yeah. for us, Chris. Yep. Ooh. Oh, look at our poll options there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Uh, and so if we went, so now we need to publish this campaign, right? Like that. That's something we haven't done yet. We we've added our incentives. Uh, we added our 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 colors we've you know we've we've worked out you know the people who are on our uh on our team campaign who's going to help us out um no assume i mean not 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 today but we already know that's a thing you can yeah. do uh we can publish now right yeah i think we're in a good place to share this with the people i think so so i'm gonna go back to my overview or i can go to setup however whichever place i want to go to they're in both places and i'm going to publish team campaign Oh, and it's just, just like that. 
Hey, can we um can we see uh oh so there's some other options there once it goes live is what I was getting at. Um so we do have dashboard and we can monitor the donations, those tabs across the top there. Uh does this should look familiar, right? Like we we added mm -hmm. we updated our dashboard um last year or um uh, or late 2021, I'm sure that the devs can correct me on that. Um, it all blurs together at this point. Uh, yeah. But really, this allows you to kind of pick and choose what you want to see. Uh, you see the panels option, so you can pull in and out those um, those kind of those things. If you don't have targets, then there'd be no reason to have the target panel. Um, but if you, you have what you want, you can move it around uh, and kind of uh, really customize what that dashboard view looks like. Um, I think that uh, also the the reward fulfillment tab is also, if we had rewards, we'd see that is also a nice addition. It kind of gives you the sense of, uh, you know, you know where you are in the process of those rewards. And, and you can mark them as red now. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Yes. That's the big thing there. So if you have to do 10 pushups for every hundred dollars, you can say, <laughs> oh, uh, you're not doing more than you need to for those rewards. You can check <laughs> it off. Um, if you need to do shout outs, if you need to do, uh, gift, uh, uh, you know, thank you cards or give out you know, codes or swag or whatever you're doing that will help you, keep, they'll help keep you on track for that. Yes. And another place, uh, if you remember advanced dashboard, this is kind of another iteration of that, which is the donations plus, uh, which also you can mark this red. And also if you, if there were any here, it's not the, you know, um, you can click on it and have a more detailed view of what you're seeing. And also here, you, uh, you can also uh, say, hey, which donations do you want to see? Do you want to see donations that are 0, 10, 20? Which donations do you want to see? Right. So. Yeah, this was, this would have been the advanced dashboard, but we've just integrated and put it together. It's just a, that that very focused view on, on your donations and what's coming in. Um, so if you have a campaign that's really popping, this is going to be a really useful tab for you. Yes. And then our live settings is very, very fun as well. Uh, that's how you control all your overlays. You can set which overlay you want to be current for your team, and then you can add your media there. So I love how clean this looks and how you can literally just in a couple clicks manage your campaign for your team. So. Yes. And I think the, the overlays are really, really important because um, especially just having multiple ones, everyone in your team may have a different stream set up. They could have minimalistic, uh, a lot of things added on their stream, having the event list, the overlay, alerts, QR code, you know, just having different overlays available for your team so they can see which one fits their branding of their stream as well. So I love multi overlays. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> it especially, if so you much easier. especially if you yeah. yourself have like different views on your mm -hmm. own stream just update yes. it just have one link for your overlay and then select which overlay you want active <laughs> absolutely so that is teams that's, yes that's teams and it's mind you that the that a lot of work has gone into this and it's definitely will continue to to make things as i think to quote uh, uh, our CEO last week, as frictionless as possible. And so this is another way for us to, to streamline the experience of working with other people that you really want to support, um, you know, causes you care about together. So it's great stuff. Uh, great stuff. Thank you for, for taking us to that, that overview. I think that's a lot and we'll definitely be sharing a more in the coming, uh, in the coming weeks. We'll, uh, just to note, like, you know, the, the all for all intents and purposes, you should see your dashboard and your teams go live with this update next Tuesday. Um, as usually, usually morning time here uh, in the U.S. Um, and so, just keep an eye on our status page and our socials uh, if, if that if that if that changes at all. Um, do you have any other questions um, from like here in our in our panel here? Any other any other things you want to talk about or in chat? there's anybody who has any questions in chat. I think that I saw a question, but I don't know if it's particular to what we've just showed off. Okay, so it looks like Addy had a question. Lou, do you want to answer that? I'm trying to trying to track the question. Uh, oh, okay, weird question, but can people who form a friend team and are not on an official Twitch team still form a Twitch campaign? 
you say Twitch, knowing that uh, we have other platforms to campaign on, but looking towards Twitch since that's your that's your base. Uh, oh. I need oh. I need more context. I don't quite know. So, yes, anybody can create yeah. a Spotify campaign, team campaign. It's not yeah. particular to any platform. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't need to be on Twitch, YouTube, or any of it to make a campaign. Like, if you just want to make something with your friends and share it on your social links or any way that you want, you don't need to be on Twitch or yeah. anything. A, a good example is, like, yeah. let's say you're doing a fundraiser at work. Let's say everybody at work is saying, we're going to uh, support American Heart Association. Let's throw it out there since it's Heart Month, right? We're going to set this campaign up. None of you are live streamers, let's say, but you all create this campaign and you fundraise for it independently. You ask friends and family, your coworkers, your the people of you know people at your place of worship, all those sorts of things, and everybody contributes to that. None of you have to live stream for that. They just need you know they just need to make a donation, be able to make a donation online. That's all you have to do. Um, or or if you want to be sophisticated. Uh, mm -hmm. Hang out where I lost it. Generate a QR code. Oh, cool. So, no, Addy, Addy <laughs> clarified. So, like, SideQuest is a team. It does team campaigns, but we can create a campaign of people, not it, not a certain team. Um, so for this, for intents and purposes, you would you would have a team, but not everybody. Um, well, not necessarily everybody has to be on the team to support a team campaign per se like right. you can have a team campaign and people can support it with their individual campaigns but i need a place to start right so if you create that place for people to support they can all go there um and they could be on the same team or you can have individual campaigns support you as well so i hope that answers the question if not we can be sure that get you more information once we once we're no longer alive yeah <laughs> Does anybody else have any questions, feedback, strong opinions about all of pineapples? <laughs> okay, about all of pineapples, no. not about any of us or what we just showed you. Does anybody have any questions, feedback about the teams and the new dashboard or strong opinions? <laughs> I mean, I have a strong opinion, but... <laughs> the strong opinion is this is going to make a fundraising... Uh, a lot easier this year for folks who use Tiltify. So I, I know it's going to be a, a good tool to, to help you raise more money. Um, and, you know, if you have questions, we'll, we're here. I mean, this is the team that, that's going to help you um, be successful. So if there's something you don't see, you have a question, um, if you have feedback, we want to know. So, so be sure to let us know. Uh, there are some people asking earlier if there's going to be a VOD. Yes, this is going to be a VOD that anyone can use. I know I'm going to share the VOD with my team later. Um, but then also we are going to, once this is live, really break everything down into digestible short little pieces of content that we're going to put all over our social media. So if you maybe are like, oh, I don't remember about the polls and the team campaign. Chances are we're probably going to make a short little video, short little guide, just kind of like a quick little, oh, okay, that's what I needed. So all of this is coming. You don't have to remember absolutely everything in this hour. <laughs> as soon as we end the stream, it's gone and you'll never learn about it again. Right. No, we're going to continue educating and we're going to continue sharing some of the cool stuff that's going on. Yeah, and at launch yes. next week, the, the majority of the of the – the support articles will be available at info.tiltify.com. You'll be able to find out, uh, answer the questions. And if you don't, again, if you don't find it, if you can't find a question, two things. We do have a Discord that you can join, and we encourage everybody to join. It's a good, it's a good place to at least ask the question. If it's a quick and easy question, you bet that there's going to be somebody from the Tiltify team there, somebody from the community there who knows who knows the answer. Um, and yeah, we're not, we're, we're, we'll have information to support you. Don't worry, we're here for you. We're not going to leave you out in the dark. Yeah. Or, or in the light. Not. I guess we don't have that. Yet, but... <laughs> <laughs> just, ah, ah, just a little platform humor, guys. <laughs> yes. I'm excited for all the fun teams that will be created this year and just seeing people rallying together. Oh. I'm excited. I know the yeah. teams feature is going to 
completely blow up. I know it is. And I'm just so grateful for our devs that worked hard to give us this. So right. Shout out yeah. to the devs. Applause the for the devs. Thank you. So, and a part of this <laughs> is also to know if you already have a team. So I saw Chef Steve in there. Chef Steve has um, the, uh, the the Crusaders there. Um, I know lots, see lots of other folks who have teams. Don't don't freak out. It, this is going to be an easy transition. You're not. It's it's going to be. It's it's uses the, the same information you have currently. It's just going to be easier to manage. So don't don't stress out about that either. It's going to be an easy transition. Absolutely. And if not, it's totally the devil's fault. I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Well, great. Well, this has been awesome. I, I want to thank, um, I want to thank Chris for guiding us through. I know that uh, we put a lot on your shoulders to kind of to walk us through for your first time on the stream ever. I think you did lovely. Um, Izzy, uh, thank you so much for the support as well. And, and Ash, you're always the, the most wonderful host. So I appreciate you. Thanks for allowing me to come on stream today. Yes, we want more yes. Lou, don't we, chat? Can we, yes, yes. Chat, we want more, more Lou. Lou. More <laughs> Lou, more Lou, more Lou, more Lou. Oh, nah. <laughs> no, more Chris, more Chris. Both of you. Both All right, cool. Fine. Come okay, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And I have, Wonderful. A, I have a quick question for the folks who are still in chat. Um, as I'm thinking about it, and it's something that Chris and I have talked about. Is uh, as the whole community team talked about, is we launch this, we'll we'll, we'll want to consider having more time available to folks who use Tiltify um, in our Discord to have, like, uh, we'll have like open demonstrations of doing a lot of these same things on a regular basis. Is that something that you think that you would like to see um, to come in and ask questions to a live person and not necessarily have to wait for an email? Is that something you guys would like or you all would like? Apologize. Y'all. Let us know. Y'all. I usually say y'all. That, that's my vernacular, okay? I, 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 usually like, say I don't even it's fight it anymore. It's, it's y'all. Oh, it's no, it's good. It's like... <laughs> You all. That just sounds so weird. Well, live stream. Know, that, we can also have like keep office hours in Discord. Like I yeah, think that's office kind of hours in Discord. Um, yeah, nice I think do. that's more intimate mm. as well. Absolutely. Hanging out in Discord. Cool. Yes. Oh, cool. <laughs> all right. Well, I don't have anything else. <laughs> Ash, do you want to take us out? Yes, I am finding a raid target right now. But thank you, everyone, so much for hanging out. We hope you enjoyed the sneak peek. Remember, this was test data. Okay, test data. Um, and we'll have more coming in a few weeks. Okay, I'm excited. I just, Teams just makes me so bubbly. It makes me so bubbly. Uh, from having a previous team, um, yeah, it just makes me excited. It makes me want to create a team again get people together oh i love it i love it but thank you for all the hype and the love and chat and everyone stopping in we really appreciate it we'll be live next week again on our twitch channel make sure you're following us on socials make sure you join our discord chat with us we have a question of the day hanging out in there chatting about everything pop culture food pets all of the above and also of course charity fundraising if you need help or inspiration uh, you can also DM me directly. You can DM the Tiltify account to get a hold of me as well. I'm available to you 23 7. Wait, 24, <laughs> wait 23 6. 23 6. 23 6. I, I appreciate you save one day and one hour a day. <laughs> so, so, true story there is a, a record company close to me that is literally called 23 and a half hour record service. No way. <laughs> All right. I love it. So, <laughs> I love Inspiration. it. I love it. All right. So, we have so many lovely community folks on. Let's go send some love over to Melee Mirror. Why not? We also have a community oh, spotlight with Melee nice. Mirror. We chatted with them last year. Uh, they go by she, they pronouns. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. That's what I remember. She, they pronouns are non-binary. Uh, they're playing Animal Crossing. So let's just go get some love. Let's join the cozies and have a good rest of our evening together. Why not? So make sure you copy that Ray message. We'll be live again next week. 
Uh, we're getting back into the swing of things, coming back from our work retreat. I know I'm still recovering because <sighs> Vegas can really <laughs> take all the energy out of you. <laughs> Yeah. But we'll have our updated stream schedule and any content scheduled on our Discord event and on our Twitch schedule as well coming in a few days. And happy Black History Month. Happy Heart Month. Um, we just had our Black History Month blog go out. So if you're feeling inspired to support Black-centric organizations, you can this month. And of course, outside of this month as well. And yeah, just have fun for the rest of this year. And there's so much more fun stuff coming up. For Tiltify again, we're here to support you in any way and tag us on socials for everything you're doing. We want to see you. <laughs> please, please, please tag and me. And Izzy, Izzy is the face behind our socials, so make sure you give us some love. Give her her flowers. She does a wonderful job, um, just being a voice for our brand. So thank you, Izzy. I love you. Yeah, we you. love you. I love you. Yes. And Lou does a great job managing us. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We can just on our wait. toes. Just right now. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. All right, everyone. We're going over to Melee Mera. Go enjoy some Animal Crossing, and we'll see you next week. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great day. Bye. 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 <laughs>